Hey everyone, good morning. It's Monday, start of a brand new week, last week of July. This is Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue coming to you um, every morning from Monday through Friday at 9 o'clock Eastern Time here on Facebook, on my Facebook page, Miss Rita to the Rescue. Um, I have this morning chat. I've been doing it now three months and I have uh, collected a group of friends that come on and craft with me and learn some new things and talk about cricketing. Good morning. I'm going to say hello and good morning to people. Good morning, Wanda and Christy. Michelle, hello. Um, so this is a really unique project uh, uh, to have cricket chat every day, Monday through Friday. And then also we have cricket date night. So if you're new, um, welcome. Make sure you introduce yourself. There's a lot of really great people. Oh, Jan is Jan is uh, tuning in from Liverpool at two o'clock in the afternoon, saying it's rainy. Hi, Rosalind. Hi, Christine. Hi, Constance. Hope everybody is well. Hi, Tara. Nice to see you all. Hi, Emmy. Um, so this morning. We are going to be working, it's our last week of Christmas in July, because it's the last week of, of July, um, and so I have some, uh, a few projects up my sleeve for this week, um, and, and a lot of them center around snowflakes. Is it early? Where are you, where are you from, Tara? Hi, David. David's from Arizona. So what is that? I think it's Arizona. Are you David from Arizona? So here I am on the East Coast. Um, so in Peabody, Massachusetts. So it's nine o'clock for us here. And um, hi, hi, Deborah. So I'm going to just kind of jump in for today um, and, uh, and sort of talk about a great little project that I um, I have found this actually is a pre-made project in Cricut Design Space. And before anybody asks me, yes, it absolutely can be resized for the joy. Um, and oh, wow, 7 a.m. OK, well, I hope you're having your morning coffee, Christy, in New Mexico. Yay. Um, so this is a pre-made project and it's in um, the Cricut Design Space Projects, but I want to show you a few variations that I've done on it um, and also show you real, real quick how to resize it for the joy. You won't be able to do the back for the joy, but you can certainly resize all of this. And it's dimensional. I'll see, show you that. I'm going to show you how I do the dimensional there and also some of the snowflakes. You could do the snowflakes in white or silver, whatever you choose. Um, I want to talk about how I can change or how you can change the uh, the actual badge or whatever, the sentiment on the front, um, because there's a fun little technique that I want you to learn about that. And also, um, I use the silver that came from this so smooth glitter paper, which I got in one of the mystery boxes. I think it was the Elegance mystery box. So if you got an Elegance mystery box, consider using uh, one of these pretty, here we go. This is the the silver. It's nice and thin, cuts really nicely. Um, not like some of the other glitter papers are thicker. Even the Cricut glitter paper is, is thicker. So it's a smooth glitter. Um, so let's just dive right in. So this is a project that you can find if you go to projects, which is up here on the left hand side. See projects. So I'm going to make sure that I think this is saved. No, it's not, but it is safe. I mean, it is safe. So we're going to just do new and we're going to go to projects because I don't think people often go here. And the great thing about projects is that you can just make most of them. You can just make your own and um, you can make changes. And that's what I'm going to show you what you can do. So up here in the categories area, I'm going to choose. Um, I don't know if I should choose Christmas or cards or something like that. I chose Christmas here. I think that's where I found it. And it's an older project, couple maybe a couple years old. So um, 
let's scroll on down. You notice there's lots of really great cards here. Definitely, if you're looking for inspiration, this is a place to go um, for inspiration. And I don't often um, say that enough, but but there are really some really good ideas. And even if it's just a jumping off point for your ideas, it's really a good place to, to check out um, whether it be like this Christmas category or the cards category. So I'm looking for my <laughs> for my project. And here's the one we did last week, the Leah Griffith one. Um, and let me see if I'm going to find it. Of course, we did this one last week too, I think, or the week before last. And of course, I'm not finding it. So I'm going to go to cards. Um, this is what I do with my free time. I don't know if you guys do the same, but, um, but I just go through the projects and kind of get some inspiration and, um, and sort of jump from there. And I sure as heck hope I'm going to find this, this image because boy, wouldn't I be red in the face if I don't find it. Okay. So we're getting towards Oh, so many choices. Um, let's see. Oh dear. I got my fingers crossed that I'm gonna find this. I didn't of course I didn't check it out beforehand. Ugh oh, darn it. Um let's see. Come on. Oh, well, I don't know if we're going to find this thing. Gosh darn it. Unbelievable. Well, I'm going to have to um, put the link to this card in, your, in the description because I cannot seem to find it in Design Space. Weird. Really weird. And it's such a cute card. Um, it starts off with uh, with joy in the middle there. And I wanted to show you how you can modify it a little bit. So mm, we might have to just go back. So I don't want to waste too much of your time, you know. Um, let's just go and do this here. I see all these other wonderful cards that we've done. Uh, but... I cannot see this one. All right. Well, we're just going to go back to um, our projects and I will find it and get it to you. So at any rate, this is a um, this is a card that is from the <laughs> project section. And um, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks from here. Um, boy, this always happens to me. Oh, the beauty of live television, a live uh, live video. Okay, so this card consists of a back, this back, and this like kind of a of snowflake lace that just goes over here. It does require some gluing. And then we have all these little snowflakes that we can cut out in glitter, whether it's white glitter or silver glitter, whatever you'd like. And then there is sort of a, an, a badge, I would call, that lays on the top. And then it has um, joy as a cutout. And you'll see that the joy kind of um, pops through the white. And I want to show you, because if you don't want joy, how do you change it out? Super easy. Um, let's say because it's uh, snowflakes, you want it to say, let it snow. So what we're going to do is let's find uh, an image that says, let it snow. We'll go to images and we'll just type in snow or let it snow. And notice that there are quite a few that come up that are let it snow. Um, this one I like, this one here, it's two layers, but, um, but we can get rid of the back layer there. So let's choose this one. And it will come in. Here we go. All right, so here's our let it snow. Make it a little bigger so you can see it. And it's two layers. So what we want to do is look over here on the right-hand side, and you'll see that it actually is three layers. Um, one of them is is taken out. It's the actual back layer. So what we want to do is probably ungroup this and 
for now, we don't need these. So let's just get rid of them. I ungrouped and I um, just X'd out of those. Now we have our joy and we want to um, hold on to that just in case we don't like the way this looks. So we're going to duplicate the joy. All right. So here's our duplication. But um, this is the exact size that it needs to be for the card. So what we want to do is we want to contour out the joy so that we end up with just the circle. So we don't have to recreate that circle because it is a little bit uh, ovally. Like it's not a like real round circle. So by duplicating it and then taking the joy, the word joy out, we're gonna end up with a blank circle. So you do contour down here on the right hand side. It's like a square with a dotted circle in the middle. You just hit on that. And this is the screen that you get. It's like a little pop-up screen. Let me go up a little bit. It's called Hide Contour. We've touched on this a little bit, but basically this can only be done on a single layered image. So keep that in mind. But you're able to hide any of those cuts up to all, not all of them, but you can hide any of them. You have to leave one. Okay, so in this case, that's perfect. We wanna leave the whole circle around, but we wanna get rid of the joy. We can do that two ways. We can either click on the right-hand side where the joy layer is, or we can click on the actual um, thing we want to get rid of. So let's do it on the right-hand side for the joy, but you notice that the inside of the O is still there. So I'll click on that. So when we go back to um, our screen, then it will um, be an empty circle. See that? Um, so now we have an empty circle where the joy used to be, and we're gonna take our Let It Snow, we're gonna move it to the front by using a range, okay? That way we can kind of see what size do we want it. It's a little large for me, so I think I would make it about Mm, what is this, like two and a half inch size. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I want for the let it snow to cut out from the circle, just like the joy, right? So I'm going to select both of those. They are two individual single layers and I'm gonna go back down here and we're going to slice. It's the first choice, you can't, probably can't see it, but it's the first choice is called slice. And when you do slice, basically it just cuts all the way through all of the layers. So you end up with three layers. Here's the one we started with, here's the one we want, and here's what's left of the slice of what we, we did. So now we have very much like this joy, we have the let it snow for our card. And I just think that's a really fun uh, technique a lot of people don't use. And it's really easy uh, to, to modify a file in this way. So let's get to cutting this because um, it will take a while for it to cut out this lace piece. And then I want to show you how I assemble it. Um, it's, it's, I use those dots that we have um, used in the past. So I wanna show you how to do that, okay? So let's go ahead and hit make it up here. And it separates into four layers. We've got, this is our glitter layer. Um, I'm gonna move these to maximize the space. This is our base layer. And this is that button on the front. Now what I want to do here is I want to use an eight and a half by 11 inch sheet of paper, but this, the badge, the let it snow badge kind of overlaps that a little bit. So I'm going to actually turn it and now it fits on the eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I don't need to use a bigger sheet or I don't need to um, use two sheets or whatever. So there's that. And then I'm going to be using you know, a eight and a half by 11 inch sheet here. So I'm gonna hit continue. Um, when you're doing this cutout, that's the white cutout. I have my, my mats all arranged, but when you're doing this white cutout, I would definitely choose 
the setting cardstock for intricate cuts. It's one of my favorites, but I'll show you where you would find it if you go to Browse All Materials. If you have an Cricut Explore, um, you would need your dial to be on custom before you see this. If you have a maker, this comes up, you know, Browse All Materials comes up automatically, and you're gonna go to cardstock, and you'll see at the top of the cardstock grouping is cardstock for intricate cuts. And that um, allows for uh, the, the, the machine, it, it basically does the cut twice and it slows down the machine so it's not going to tear your paper. Because sometimes um, it's, just, it's, it's just that the machine, like sometimes you'll get People are like, oh, maybe I have to change my blade or, or maybe I'm using the wrong material. Sometimes it's just a very intricate cut for the machine to do going regular. You can also slow your machine down um, by choosing a different pressure or I don't want to say slow it down, but, you know, having it cut less deep and you can do that by by doing less. Slowing it down um sorry that's you can't you can make it fast but you can't like necessarily slow it down but so cardstock for intricate cuts is going to cut our white piece okay the other thing i want to point out is that i'm working on my maker but i want to ch edit my tools to be my scoring stylus because i'm only using the stylus once and i don't want to swap out my scoring wheel okay so let's get this going. I'm going to move you over so you can see my machine go. Whoops. And by the way, I fixed my problem um, that I was having on Friday where my my new phone was too small and it was falling out of my... My son helped me fix it, actually. So I choose cardstock for intricate cuts and I'm going to cut the white out first. And then I'm going to switch to... Um, to just regular cardstock for the other two mats and then glitter cardstock, okay? So let's get this started while we um, sort of work around. And I have my, uh, my other mats here, and this is a piece of paper. Remember, we use scraps all the time, save money and hold on to our uh, scrap pieces. So here's, this is our scrap paper that I'm using. Otherwise, I'm using this eight and a half by 11 inch paper, which I get at Michael's. Um, and I'm also going to use for this project, these foam dots, which I'm actually gonna use these pieces, the part where the dots have been taken out. I'm going to show you how to reuse this so you don't have any waste at the end. And I did mention that this is the um, paper that I'm using for the glitter. It was in our mystery box. It's called Smooth Glitter Paper. And again, you can use regular glitter paper, but if you already got that that mystery box, do definitely look at what you got. There was also in... I'm. I don't think it was in the elegance. I think it was in the celebrate summer one, but there was a pack of um, glitter brights. I'm not sure if it had silver in it. Hold on, just a sec. Right. So it doesn't. It didn't have. But this is great cardstock and a great introduction to glitter cardstock. It um, it came in one of the mystery boxes and it's just uh, like red and blues, two different blues, green and like a pink, I think. Um, I love Cricut glitter cardstock. And here we go. And so there's like 10 different sheets and they're really bright. You could do the snowflakes and maybe in this in this blue too, if you wanted to. Um, so that you have a lot of choices in what you want to do. Now you see, it does take a little bit longer to cut this out. So it's just gonna take a few minutes. So I might as well just kind of jump in and tell you a couple of other things as it's cutting out. First of all, I was cleaning a little bit, <laughs> not a whole lot, but I was cleaning a little bit and I found an extra Cricut cutie. I found this lilac 
Cricut Cutie in my uh, stash, in my paper stash. I don't know how he got down there, but he did. And this is all I like Christmas. I'm sorry, Cricut Cutie. I would like to give this away to someone, um, but I want to come up with a fun way to give it away. I, and, and I'm also looking at trying to increase uh, the number of people that are coming and watching either the replay or um, or are watching this on YouTube. So I want to ask you guys um, what ideas you would have. Because I thought, well, might as well. I have them here and I don't need two. I already have one. So what would you like to to have to do to be eligible to win our little Cricut Cutie? Um, I don't know if it's like sharing or trying to get people to to come and watch, but always you're looking, you know, I'm always looking for a, a fun way to imp increase uh, the number of people that are that are watching the videos. And so <clears throat> wanted to ask you about that. So if you have any great ideas on how <clears throat> we can get the word out about um this cricket chat or cricket date night please let me know either here in the comments today or later on when you think about it because um it's always good to have more and more people watching right i mean obviously i love the people that are here watching on a regular basis but um there's always it's always nice to have more people watching. The second thing I wanted to mention is we use this glue a lot. And um, up until now, we were telling people, I was telling people that you could get it on Etsy and you can get it on Amazon. Um, well, I, I did originally get this glue from a place called Create for Less. And over the weekend, I found out that I am an affiliate for them. I had to do the affiliate thing. So you can buy it there. You can also buy um, solid card stock and a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to drop my link. I know I did that yesterday, but I'm going to drop my link in the description. So if you want to support me and get this this um, glue, you can buy it through Create for Less as an affiliate of mine. And what's the third thing that I wanted to mention? Oh, really cool. We hit 7,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel, um, and that is, like, pretty amazing. I didn't even notice until after date night, but i um, pretty excited about that. So over 7,000 people are subscribed to the Miss Rita to the Rescue um, YouTube page. If you're not one of them yet, I would encourage you to go over there every single one of these videos um, with few exceptions every single one of these videos are there so if you for instance um, have missed one you're working or you can't couldn't come to date night for whatever reason you can just go there and and see them all I've tried to put them in different lists so if you're interested in only the ones for Cricut Joy or just ones about paper or vinyl or iron-on you can check out the playlists okay um let's see are there any other announcements oh as far as um next month doing um giveaways because we did all our giveaways for july and by the way if you were a winner for july um you may receive some of your product your winnings separately so i've had a couple of people report to me that they got part of their pro part of their gift and they were thinking it was the whole thing but it wasn't it was just one part of it so be patient because um my friend over at cricket she, what she did was um those blanks this this month we had a cricket blanks that we were giving out with the new transfer sheets so she saw that the blanks were kind of running low and wanted to make Make sure everybody got the blanks before they went out of stock because she can't ship something that's out of stock obviously so she um, so she grabbed them for me ahead of time and uh, put them aside so she so she did separate orders now for next month for August what I'm thinking about doing is um, a grouping for tools um, and that would be include the scoring stylus and the personal trimmer and probably a true control knife and I hope that that's something that you guys want 
to um, to win, let me know. Um, I just try to keep trying to come up with different ideas. And what I do is I get so much money each month, and then I have to um, figure out how I'm going to spend it. And what I do rather than give away you know big machines and stuff is I try to give away like smaller gifts and more of them so if I do the tools we'd have 11 giveaways for the month of August does that sound like something you guys would like to win the tools um, because I, I know these are tools that I use almost on a daily basis and not everybody has been able to buy them all so let me know okay let me know um, and then as far as the rest of the week goes, um, let's see, as far as the rest of the week goes, uh, we're, we're finishing up July. I have another snowflake, um, project to show you that I'm sort of been working on. This is, this is it. It's an Anna Griffin snowflake project. And then I wanted to do a banner and maybe a little bit of garland. So we have kind of, but then I wanted to also do a box so that you'd know, um, how to, uh, how to put together a box. So if you put your, your ornaments you can either put it in a bag or a box so that's what we're going to work on this week and then starting in august um we'll be working on some back to school a little bit of fall but mostly like some summer stuff somebody asked me for unicorn things um i also have been intrigued by flamingos lately i don't know why so um so there's been a lot of really fun flamingo projects that i thought we could we could work on what we got a work work machine this is taking a long time i feel like i'm talking and talking and talking and it's still cutting out um the other pieces will cut out really quickly so that's good so I'm trying to think what else. Do you guys have any questions or comments that you want to share or ask um, during this time while this is cutting out? I'm happy to answer them um, for you as we're waiting for this large piece to cut out. And I'll give you a couple minutes for that. Oh, come on. Are you guys just your coffee hasn't kicked in yet? I want to hear what have you been doing? Have you been working on your cricket? Have you run into any problems? Um, what are you working on? That kind of thing. Tell me, tell me, tell me. No, oh, let's see. David's in Texas. Oh, Tara, you're in Idaho. Okay. I'm going to look at my comments here because nobody's talking to me. Why aren't you talking to me, guys? <sighs> Dorothy's here. Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Bren. Oh, this is my friend Tom. Hi, Tom. If you, Oh, okay. So let's talk about snowflakes. Um... Is it snowflake card with the joy I found it design space in card? Oh, perhaps, perhaps, Nancy, we can go back and look at that. Um, okay, so let's talk about snowflakes. There is, uh, if you want to look at snowflakes, and there are a ton of snowflakes in um, design space, you can look, um, you, there are, there are like actually one, two, three, four categories that I know of that have a ton of snowflakes. There are some 3D snowflakes and then there are some that actually take words like hope and peace and love and turn them into snowflakes by repeating them. Uh, so that's really cool. And um, let's see if I can show you that. I'm going to move you over while this is, believe this or not, this is still cutting. Our piece is still cutting. So let me see if I can go to uh, the web version of Cricut Design Space and show you where you can find all of these all of these wonderful snowflakes. So the four categories of, or the four image sets that have um, snowflakes is called When It's Cold Outside. There's also Winter Lace. 
Um, there's one called Tis the Season, and then also the fourth one actually has snowflakes in the title, Holiday Snowflakes. So um, if you are looking for snowflakes, um, this is where you'd find them. And I'm, sadly, uh, let's see we're going to go here. Sadly, the, the categories, the image um, sets, here we go. So I can open up a, an extra while this is, is uh, designing. So if you're looking for snowflakes in design space, um, we want to go to, let's do a new project. Uh, proceed anyway. Okay. So, look. Oh. All right, we want to go to images over here on the left-hand side, and we're going to go to our favorite category, if it's going to let me. Oh, this is the old version, so um, that's okay. We can go to cartridges. It's the old version. Okay, so you're not going to find a whole lot if you just look for um, Snowflake under the image set or the cartridges. Um, there are these geometric snowflakes, holiday snowflakes, which I mentioned. There's some intricate snowflakes, but the other ones, the older ones, you're not going to find here. So knowing the names of them is really helpful. Or if you go to images and you type in snowflake, what you'll do is you'll get, um, obviously you'll get a lot of snowflakes. And what you can find out is where um, you can where these originate from by clicking on this little eye. So if you click on this little eye, it tells you, um, bring me to the image set or in this older version, it, this is the name of the image set, Intricate Snowflake. So there's a couple of snowflakes I want to point out to you because they cut out really, really beautifully, especially with window cling or the um, removable vinyl um so here here are some of them these ones here these came from miss kate's cuttable snow day um and there are more groupings here um so let's go to cartridges and type in when it's cold outside or when it's um oh it's finally done cutting all right, so here's when it's cold outside. And it is a bunch of really beautiful um, snowflakes that you can do. And there's some that are one layer, two layer. There's some that are 3D. Um, and these are the 3D ones. And you notice that each has like a slit, one on the bottom, this on the top, so that way you can cut them out um, separate, you know, and then put them together like a little... Uh, snowflake 3Ds, like maybe for the Christmas tree. Um, and while I'm, while we're looking, I'm just going to go and do this, the other pages for us. Okay. Yay. It finally cut out. Boy, that, that was a long time. So let's go back to looking at snowflakes. Nope. <sighs> Boy, today I am just not, I am not getting, getting this stuff done. What is going on? Now it's telling me to edit my tools, but I already did that. Boy, I'm just having a hard time today. Okay. All right. So let me just get this going while we talk a little bit more about snowflakes. So there are a lot of snowflakes and it's just, sometimes you just have to look for them. But these ones here, I love the fact that they take, for instance, this is a snow, this is um, a Santa one and they, they put the Santa with the reindeers all around. That's really fun. And some of these are single images. Some of them are double images. And then uh, we can also go and look at this one here called um, Winter Lace. And this is what I mean about um, the, they don't always, the images, image sets don't always follow, like I want snowflakes. <laughs> so you go and you type in snowflakes under image set. It may not bring up those um, images that you're looking for. All right, so let me just get this, another one. All right, here we go. Now I'm starting to, 
cook with gas. Okay. All right, let me show you what I've got as we go ahead and put this together. So now I have, this is my base of my card. You'll notice here is my score. This is the white that took so long to cut out. And here's our little badge that says, let it snow. So I'm just gonna peel it off. Remember when you're peeling something off, the um, a very, particularly a very sticky mat, you have to sort of bend your mat um, to, in order to um, get it off there without ripping. So let's do that. And also when you have letters that have that um, negative space on the inside like this. So here the E, we want that little E and we want the inside of the O, right? So you'd have to go back to your mat and sort of make sure that you're putting those aside. So here's our E. Just putting it aside and then I'm getting that piece for the O. Okay, the white also needs to be, um, for, to, to fold that, that uh, that mat, and don't worry. Uh, the only time that your your mat might crack, um, it's only happened to me a couple of times, and that is when it's really old, um, or perhaps when it's cold, very very cold, or the mat's very very cold. That can sometimes cause the plastic that the mats are made out of to sort of crack, but. It's not very cold outside right now, so you don't have to worry about that part. So here we go. There's our piece of, there we go. There's our piece there. All right, so I just have to put in one more, one more mat, and then we can put this thing together. Now we just have to change the material, because this is, glitter cardstock. Okay. All right. So we've got our piece of white. We have our blue for the badge. We have our, our little badge over here to the left. And then we're cutting out the snowflakes in that silver. So the first thing we want to do is we want to fold, move this out of the way. We want to fold our card where the score is. So we're gonna do that. Now, if you did this on the Joy, you would have to make your card from cardstock and fold it by hand, which I've shown you in the past. And this card is oriented this way, horizontally instead of vertically. And here is our lace piece that's gonna go over here and then our badge over here. Okay, now I use my glue and I'm going to use a lot of glue, not a lot of glue, but very strategically placed because when you put this on your card, there are some pieces that are like free floating. So we need to make sure, okay guys, we need to make sure that we are, are um, hitting those places so that they don't lift on the side. See that? So I'm just going to just dot the glue all around, but especially on these, these pieces that could lift when we're ready to, um, when we're ready to give this card, we don't want that to happen. So I'm just using this technique of dotting the, um, the card. Another idea that you might wanna think about is if you have white vinyl, which I know we all received in, um, if you got those uh, mystery box, the last one anyway, um, if you have white vinyl, you could definitely cut this out of vinyl and then you wouldn't have to worry about the adhesive and you can definitely um, mix your mix your materials like vinyl and uh, and obviously we use like glitter but and I've actually used heat transfer vinyl or iron-on 
on paper before and it works out really well. So you could even cut this out with heat transfer vinyl. Maybe I'll try that with, um, with that other project, but it would work out really well and you could easily have um, like kind of a mixed media uh, a card that would work out really well and you wouldn't have to fuss with the glue. I would, I think that would be fun. Maybe we should try that. Okay. So I'm just dabbing my glue all around. You guys are gonna be a little more careful because you're not trying to, you know, do it under a camera, but make sure you're getting it all around. Then we're gonna hold this here and we're going to place it. Thankfully with glue, you have a little bit of um, give, so to speak, with liquid glue. You have a little bit of give all around. There we go. So, but if you feel like you missed something or something is lifting, certainly go back and just do a little dot of glue underneath there. Like over here, I must have missed this. So I can just sort of lift it a little bit and put a dot of glue. I generally don't put the glue onto the base, but rather onto the piece um, because then I don't have it like squishing out. Okay, so there is our um, our pretty base. Then we have this. So we're gonna take our cutout and we're going to do the same thing. We're just putting a little tiny bit of glue onto the back of this. Making sure we're getting all those little pieces here, okay? all the inside of or the inside of the letters oh, I have to figure out what those things are called but but um because when it cuts out it it will um sort of lift all right so there's our little open e we can just dot it on there. And there I put it on the actual card. So let, hmm, I think it's supposed to look, maybe it's supposed to go this way. Yep, it's supposed to go this way. Okay. So, and then of course the O, the inside of the O, I pushed away with, with my, <laughs> Oh, with my, with my, um, with my keyboard. Okay. <clears throat> so let's say you bought yourself a pack of these or you have a lot of these and you have taken out all of these little, um, O's. If you have something big like this that you want to make look dimensional, here's what I do. I cut after I've used the, 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 um, dots. I cut these pieces because they're still useful and you don't have to worry about it. So uh, you don't have to worry about it poking through on the back and it gives it nice support when you're putting it on a card so you don't have like just spots that have the, the, um, the, the foam that gives it that dimension. You can cut this in half like this. Okay, and let me just pull this off. Ah. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Pulling it off, okay. All right, so see that? It's a good little technique to know and then you can be very frugal about your materials and you don't, of course you can use the dots if you wanted to, but um, I always found myself with these empty, empty like containers of dots and not knowing what to do for that. So here we go, we're gonna put this here and it gives a little dimension to the card, you see that? And then when our when our um our silver snowflakes are cut out, I also do some that I glue straight to the card and some that I use these 
dots for. But again, the dots are kind of big. So if we want to, you can actually cut out these little tiny pieces for the small snowflakes to give them dimension. <gasps> it's done, it's done. Okay, here we go. So there is our, sil there are our silver um, snowflakes cut out beautifully using that silvery, um, that flat, I don't know what they called that. Here, we're just taking all the little snowflakes off and some of them are really small. Um, so, let's see, teeny tiny, so small. You don't have to use all of the snowflakes. And again, I will go back and find that in Design Space and post the link so that you can just grab that link. And you can cut it out with joy if you want to, or you can do this technique with the um, let it snow. And I'm just going to put, this also would be good to have these in uh, vinyl, glitter vinyl. I think that would work out well. Okay, so then you're just gonna go and place these, find a place to put these, the little tiny ones like this one, really, really small. So I generally just do the glitter, uh, just do the glue on those. But, but, there are some that have like a space on the back. So if I use a piece of this foam like this, like this, it's just a little piece. It's smaller than that circle. I can add it to my design, whether I put it here and just a couple because it's like you're looking out a window and you want some of them to appear in the background and some to appear in the foreground. And then just go along and just put these all on there. And that is sort of that project. It's called, I think it's called the Joy, Cricket Joy Snowflake. And again, I'll find it and, and post it for you. So what do you guys think? Do you like this project? Um, oh, wait. All you guys have been talking and I didn't see it. I don't know why. It Yes. Okay. So the tiny, use a tiny snowflake in the center of the O. <gasps> what a great idea. That's a great idea. We can use this one here. That, and I think maybe I'll make it pop out because that would be fun. Ah, oh, that's why I haven't. I was I was not seeing your um your comments, so I was thinking you guys were like leaving me in the lurch here, but you were commenting all along. All right, look at that with the little stuff. All right, so let it snow, and I will um. I will go back and make sure that I post the project link for this. It will be super easy to do. And, um, and that way you'll know where to find it and you'll have it right there for you. So that's today's uh, cricket chat lesson, whatever. Uh, tomorrow I'll be back. Um, let's see, I'll be back. I'm not really sure what we're going to do tomorrow, but we, I did talk about a couple of things. So I'm going to think about that. All right. Um, I think that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming. Sorry, I was a little unprepared. Um, and by the way, if you're watching today and you haven't seen, uh, the glittered snow, uh, the glittered ornaments that we did, Hanukkah, perfect, right? Um, and if you if you haven't seen our glittered snowflake video from Saturday night, it's definitely worth a watch because it talks about um, how to put the glitter inside of the ornaments and also how to put vinyl on the outside of an ornament. OK, so um, thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.